Hi everyone, in this video, I will going to solve this nice and different equation x to the power of 3 over 2 is equal to 3 to the power of 3 over 2. Here we are going to find out the value of x. So let's start our solution. In the first step, I will going to take this 3 to the power of 3 over 2 to the left hand side. Now here I will going to use the exponential rule that is a to the power of m times m is equals to a to the power of m and whole to the power of n. So I will going to apply this here. It will turn to x to the power of 1 over 2 and whole to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 1 over 2 and whole to the power of 3 is equals to 0. Now if you can see here, we can apply here the radical property that is a to the power of 1 over n. So this is in this form or we need to change in this form. So this equation turns to root x whole to the power of 3 minus here this is in this quadratic form. So I'm going to write root 3 and whole to the power of 3 is equals to 0. Now I will going to use the algebraic identity that is a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 is equals to a minus b bracket a square plus a b plus b square. So here this is our a and this is our b value. So this equation turns to root x minus root 3 and then root x go to the power of 2 then plus and a b we have root 3x and plus b we have root 3 go to the power of 2 bracket close is equals to 0. Now here this square and this root get cancelled and this and this get cancelled. So the expression we'll get that is root x minus root 3. And here x is remaining here root 3x. And here we get 3 is equals to 0. Now here we get the two cases. So root x minus root 3 is equals to 0. And here I'm going to take this root. 3 to the right hand side so it will turn to positive root 3. Now I want to remove this root so I'm going to raise square root this side. So this and this get cancelled, this and this get cancelled. So here x is equals to 3. So this is our first x value that we get and if you can see here if I'm going to plug in this 3 value here the answer is correct. Now I will going to solve this second case. The second case we have that is x plus root 3x plus 3 is equals to 0. Now I'm going to rearrange this. I'm going to take this x and positive 3 to the right hand side. So it will turn to negative x and negative 3. Now, I want to remove the root here, so we're going to raise square. Now, we're going to apply the algebraic identity here. That is, a minus b whole to the power of 2 is equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square. So, now this and this get cancelled. I'm going to write 3x is equals to here I'm going to write the a value that is this and this is our b value. So that is negative x whole to the power of 2 minus 2 and then negative x and then 3 and here 3 whole to the power of 2. So as I'm going to solve this, it will turn to positive x squared 
and this minus minus plus. So two, three times give us six. So six x. Now we're going to take this three x to the right hand side. So x squared plus six x minus three x plus nine is equals to zero. And here x squared plus three x plus nine is equals to zero. So we get the quadratic equations. So I'm going to solve this by using the quadratic formula. This is our A and B and C value. And the formula we have x is equals to minus b plus minus root b square for ac over 2a. Now we're going to plug in the values here. So the b value we have that is 3 plus minus root 3 square minus 4 and 1 and then 9 over 2 x is equals to minus 3 here plus minus this is equals to 9 minus 4 9 times give us 36 over 2 here x is equals to minus 3 plus minus here I will get negative 27 over 2 now we're going to solve this further to get x is equals to minus 3 plus minus 27 times negative 1 over 2. So here x is equals to minus 3 plus minus. Now I'm going to apply the radical property here. So I'm going to write in separate roots. So it will be equals to now minus 3 plus minus. And the root of 27, I will going to write 9 times 3 give us 27. And in replacement of negative 1, I will going to write the iota. That's the imaginary number over 2. Now here, I will get negative 3 plus minus. Here, as I'm solved 9 root, so I will get 3 and this root 3, i over 2. Now I can take the common of 3 here. So x is equals to 3 bracket minus 1 plus minus i root 3 over 2. So here we get two more values of x that is our x2 3 bracket minus 1 plus iota root 3 over 2 and the x3 value we have that is minus 1 minus i root 3 over 2. So this is our complex solution and the value of x that is x1 that is the real solution. So thank you so very much for watching my video. If you like my video, please do subscribe to my channel.